I think it was last summer, if I'm not mistaken, when um, I was having an afternoon with, with my brother when we were talking about different kind of things related to work and value systems and beliefs and things like that. And um, like way back when I first started my business, my my business motto was friends help each other. And it became very much a, not, ju- not just the, the motto, the organizational motto, but it very much became like a value system within, w- within my life. Like I fully started to kind of live that, that concept. And uh, my brother said that he, his would be, it's all about the little things. Um, and it really, really is. It really, 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 really is. No matter what circumstance anybody's got, there's going to be some little things that you can do, some little things that you can see, some little things that you can touch, you can smell, you can hear, you can taste, that are really going to make the difference. I've spent the last couple of weeks swimming in busyness and stress in preparation for the <laughs> the ironically the mental health summit um doing everything that i'm not supposed to do i wasn't taking care of myself i wasn't taking care of the people around me uh i wasn't doing any of those things but i'm not here to talk about that i'm actually here to talk about today because today i came up for air today i got the opportunity to smell the roses today christmas started and i was able to let go of the summit the work all of that stuff and just really really settle in to the things around me um i found time well i completely disconnected from work and just let go just completely let go and god it felt good it felt so good like what there is there is no point in making yourself a martyr by working so hard in helping other people that you don't take care of yourself that there's no point in that and so today i let go and did the opposite and it was just the most wonderful wonderful day um rebecca's here we're spending time we're connecting and we went to went for this wonderful little walk into the little town nearby and it's only a small little town we just needed to pick up a few bits from the store but you know evening was setting in uh, so it was dark outside but we were just connected and all the christmas lights and and the cold winter air just kind of made it feel all romantic and it was really really nice and then we just kind of settled in for the night and laid down and watched uh, three episodes of normal people um she rested her head on my chest and we watched it and it was just a we had ice cream and it was just i mean i i don't have the words i don't have <laughs> the language the diction to be able to express how incredible that experience was it's a lot better than any achievement it's a lot better than any success it's a lot better than any financial windfall i guess that makes the little things not the little things they feel like little things but they're actually the big ones So this Christmas, remember the little things. Take time, stop and smell the roses, no matter what's going on. 
you it may not be the christmas that you dreamt of it may be not the christmas that you expected but there are opportunities to connect there are opportunities to to stop and smell the roses remember the little things guys remember the little things <laughs>